Good morning. Let's take this moment to turn to the people around us and welcome each other in our celebration. This Saturday, the Feast of Saints Peter and Saint Paul. The solemnity. To their intercession, let us bow our heads as we pray for one another. And as we also lift up to the Lord our prayer for peace, the end of violence of all kind against humanity, especially the unborn, remembering to pray for the poor, families that struggle, and victims of tragedies and calamities. So now all together sing our processional song. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful, where your streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place, though I drop to the wilderness. Blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to grace. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will stay. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I found in the deepest place when the world in the world it be. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name on the road marked with suffering to the church made in the offering. Blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will stay. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. In the name of the Father, and Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Gathered to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we are blessed because we have the opportunity to come to our most merciful and loving Father to forgive us and restore us with His grace. So together we pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. True my fault, true my fault, true my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie Peace to people 
Lord of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory, glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on the solemnity of the apostles, Peter and Paul, give us the noble and holy joy of this day, Grant, we pray, that your church may in all things follow the teaching of those through whom she received the beginnings of right religion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, King Herod laid hands upon some members of the church to harm them. He had James, the brother of John, killed by the sword. And when he saw that this was pleasing to the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. It was the Feast of Unleavened Bread he had him taken into custody and put in prison under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. He intended to bring him before the people after the Passover. Peter thus was being kept in prison, but prayer by the church was fervently being made to God on his behalf. On the very night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter, secured by double chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while outside the door, guards kept watch on the prison. Suddenly, the angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side, and awakening him, saying, Get up quickly. The chains fell from his wrists. The angel said to him, put on your belt and your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, put on your cloak and follow me. 
So he followed him out, not realizing that what was happening through the angel was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first guard, then the second, and came to the iron gate leading out to the city, which opened for them by itself. They emerged and made their way down an alley, and suddenly the angel left him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. Let lowly will hear me and be glad. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I saw the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved me. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. I, Paul, am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth the Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, 
From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. <clears throat> when Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly father. And so I say to you, you are Peter. And upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. The church today gives us the feast of solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul, two men that at first glance are totally different from each other. You see, um, you have Peter, who was a fisherman who had no formal education. You have Paul, who, was, who received a great formal education and was a Pharisee. <clears throat> P Peter, who was born Simon, was born in um, Bethsaida in Galilee, right in the middle of what was traditionally Israel, an area that still very much clung to all the traditions of the um, Jewish people. You have Paul, who was born in the name Saul, who was um, from Tarsus, that's in modern day Turkey. And uh, the people that had left Israel, his had incorporated the pagan cultures, the other cultures in, and yet still remain true to God. You have one, Peter, extremely impulsive. In other words, whenever there was a, a moment to take a stand, he immediately came to action. You had Paul, who would spend years reflecting and studying a, a situation before coming up and taking action. So, which approach does God favor? Neither. You see, what we learned today in this feast that we should be very strong to us is God has made each one of us a unique individual with unique talents. And if we are more like Peter or we're more like Paul, God can use either one of us at any time to bring about the kingdom and the mission. 
But we also see in the readings, despite their outward differences, how many, how many, how they were very much similar. In both our first and second readings, we have Peter, we have Paul, both in prison. In fact, both of them many times in their lives suffered many beatings, many imprisonments, and always were under the threat of death and yet continued to share the gospel. Peter, in choosing to follow the angel out of prison that time, Paul, recognizing that he was near the end of his journey, writing a letter to, to explaining how his life has been that mission to many. And yet both allowed their encounter with the risen Lord to permeate their lives. You see, it was from their encounter with Jesus that they could not, they could not do anything but share that wonderful message of just who Jesus was to the entire world. And that is what they both did. In a few minutes, you and I too will encounter that same Jesus as we receive Jesus in us. And you and I, like Saints Peter and Paul, are called to take whatever talents we have, whatever gifts we've received, and share that excitement of receiving Jesus with everyone as we leave this liturgy and go out to the whole world, just as the apostles did. In our gospel today, we hear the special role that Peter was given. And even though at times Paul will even write in one of his letters that he disagreed with Peter, he recognized the importance of that unity of the church and he worked within the church to make changes that he felt the Spirit was leading him to do. And Peter, as that rock, that the church was built on, remained open to the Holy Spirit and continues to lead our church today to come together as one, to be a people before God. So let us go forth from this liturgy as one, though we are all so different, sharing the gospel of the Lord. Saints Peter and Paul, pray, pray for us. Let us now all stand as together we profess, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us invoke the intercession of the foremost apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, Saints Peter and Paul. Together they work for the gospel and shed their blood for it. Our response, through the prayers of the apostles Peter and Paul, Lord, save us. Through Lord, the prayers of the apostles Peter and Paul, Lord, save us. 
following the example of St. Peter, may the church leaders guide and protect the flock of Christ, even to the point of shedding their blood. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the, the prayers, prayers of the, the apostles, apostles Peter and, and Paul, Paul, Lord, save us. May missionaries be filled with the fervor of St. Paul in preaching the gospel to all nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the prayers of the apostles, Peter and Paul, Lord, save us. May the Lord build up the church on the faith of St. Peter the, and the missionary zeal of St. Paul. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the prayers of the apostles, Peter and Paul, Lord, save us. May the Lord watch over the church, the boat of St. Peter, as it sails on the turbulent waters of history until it reaches the safe haven of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the prayers of the apostles, Peter and Paul, Lord, save us. May, may Mary, Queen of the Apostles, protect with her maternal care all those who continue the work of the apostles and meet the challenge of the new evangelization. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the prayers of the apostles, Peter and Paul, Lord, save us. We lift up to the Lord the intentions and petitions we hold in our hearts for our families and our loved ones. We pray for the intentions of Oscar and Carmen Mughal, as well as the eternal repose of the souls of Joseph Karam and Carmen Tabaquero, we pray to the Lord. Through, through the prayers of the apostles Peter and, and Paul, Paul, Lord, save, save us. Through the intentions we have received, we lift up Ruby de la Cruz, Henry Marquez, Carlos Tesoro, Kevin and Janine Tran, we pray to the Lord. Through the prayers of the apostles Peter and Paul, Lord, save us. For those in need of strength, healing, and comfort, for Joseph Bartolon, Frank Rose, Lorenzo Moran, Rico and Le Lisa Casillas, Linda Gatlin, Me Rosendo Rialo, Anthony Nguyen, Vlad Anderson, Rufino Dimson, Tom Haas, and Bob Kais, we pray to the Lord. Through the prayers of the apostles Peter and Paul, Lord, save us. For our dearly departed, Father Marco Hernandez, Pacifico Naval, Leopoldo Solomon, Dagmar Mena, Edron Quilio, Tessie Agana Santos, Maria del Rosario Castro, Cecilia Cagampang, and Henry Bunyag, we pray to the Lord. Through the prayers of the apostles Peter and Paul, Lord, save us. And for the intentions and petitions we have in the silence of our hearts, for our families and our loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Through the prayers of the apostles Peter and Paul, Lord, save us. Lord God, today we rejoice at the feast of the apostles Peter and Paul. With our prayers, may we labor for the gospel and merit the heavenly reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. I hear that music ringing 
it sounds and echoes in my soul how can i keep from singing no storm can shake my inmost calm while to that rock i'm clinging since love is lord of heaven and earth how can i keep from Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the prayer of the apostles, O Lord, accompany the sacrificial gift that we present to your name for consecration, and may their intention make us devoted to you in celebration of the sacrifice, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by your providence, the blessed apostles Peter and Paul bring us joy. Peter, foremost in confessing the faith. Paul, its outstanding preacher. Peter, who established the early church from the remnant of Israel. Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so each in a different way gathered together the one family of Christ and revered together throughout the world they share one martyr's crown. And therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, oh holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy and Thomas, his brother, bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Peter and Paul, Santiago de Compostela, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands. And all will understand. You shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I go. past the raging waters in the sea you shall not drown if you walk amid the burning flames you shall not be harmed if you stand before the power of hell and death at your side know that I am with you through it all be not afraid I go before you always come follow me and I will give you rest. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come follow me. And I will Be 
Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the church, that persevering in the breaking of the bread and in the teaching of the apostles, we may be one heart and one soul, made steadfast in your love through Christ our Lord. Just a reminder and an invitation for those who wish to help us prepare for our participation in the 4th of July parade, where we hope to evangelize by inviting them to our annual Camino and also to inform them that they have a Catholic church here. Because for a while, we were lost amidst the trees, you know. When, but when we cut down the trees, people finally driving up say, oh, there's a church. Okay, so they just don't know if it's Catholic. So they will, on Monday, we will not be working at the uh, Our Lady of the Pillar because that's being used by, for another purpose. So we probably would gather at the Room A. So if you're available, please come and help and bring a stapler because we need to staple things. Let's now pray to our loving mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And to Saint Joseph, hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God, entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary, place her trust. With you, Christ, was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us to the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless all of you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
Oscar and Carmen are celebrating their many, many anniversary. <laughs> Too many to...